Oh, what's happening over here? Oh God. Oh, oh God. What happened? <laughs> oh, what did I do? Hello everybody, it is me Solita Sims. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making yet another family tree for another one of my Sims 4 families. And this family in particular is my favorite Sims 4 family of all time and one of the first families I ever created in the Sims 4 and that would be the DeVos family. The DeVos family, they hold a special place in my heart as you all know. The matriarch of the family, Deandra DeVos, is my favorite Sim of all time and she truly made me fall in love with the Sims 4 and all the Krios you can create in the game. She's my every Thing. The family's my everything. Yet I still haven't made a family tree for them and I thought that was kind of ridiculous. So we are going to be going back into the Sims tree for the third time. I've made two other videos about this program. I've made a video dedicating building a family tree to my Sims 4 Legacy Challenge family, the Volkov, Kiloha family, and a video dedicating a family tree to my Not So Berry family, the Westwood Bastionich Stallings family. Now it's Deandra's and her family's turn. So if you'd like to know a little bit more about the service, the Sims tree, you can go ahead and watch those two videos. I'm not going to be going into detail about the the capabilities of this program in this video today or you can go ahead and click the link in the description of this video the simstree.com it is an affiliate link use my code solita at checkout for four dollars off when checking out on the simstree.com and to support me as a creator thank you guys so much and without further ado let's get right into it here we are in the sims tree back with our <laughs> first tree we ever made which is the legacy family tree it has not been updated in a minute i'm working on it i promise okay we've had a lot of things happen since this tree was last updated um, including Sawyer Oklo had a baby with a guy named Chad Huata who also died um, just moments after their son was born. And the name is ridiculous. Okay, the sitch named her son BJ. BJ Huata. Sawyer, Sawyer, Sawyer. I'm so disappointed in her. Anyways, then over here we have our not so very family tree. I think this tree is amazing. It looks so beautiful and just well put together. But I do have to update this one as well because a lot has changed. So let's go on over here to where it says add a dynasty. And we're going to go ahead and make a new dynasty. And we're going to go ahead and name this one the DeVos family. That's simple. A family tree dedicated to Salita Sims's favorite and most chaotic Sims for family. Perfect. And we will go ahead and save. And here we are left with our empty space, a brand new slate to begin with. So we are going to go ahead and go over to the My Sims category. And let's just start adding in the DeVos family members. And there's actually a lot more family members than you might think. Deandra right here is my matriarch of the DeVos family. She is not only one of the most gorgeous sims i've ever made but she is also a serial killer um she runs a gang she does drugs anyway she has a very thorough backstory and some deep insane lore and i just love her and we would just run we would just when we were hanging out we were playing when i was playing with her we would just do the most chaotic out-of-pocket things together and i think that's why i love her so much she was kind of like therapy for me she is female her condition is alive she will always be alive i will never let her die she's a person her type she She's a human being and her character traits, unfortunately, I do not remember this. <laughs> I know it's evil, kleptomaniac, and family-oriented. But besides those three, I can't tell you anything. So let's go ahead and hop back into the game and let's pay a visit to the DeVos family. What is up, my girl Didi? What is up, Naomi? They're both here in the kitchen together. It's been a minute since I've seen them. So yeah, I, I don't remember what randomized traits I gave Didi besides those three. So let's go ahead and look at that. Aha, uh -huh, I gave her nurturing. And I think that's it. I think she only has four traits at the moment, which is weird, <laughs> but God, Look at all of these additional traits she has, guys. Storm chaser, alcohol heavyweight, does not believe in the cult, which makes no sense because you have two spellcaster daughters and an alien son. Mistress of disguise from killing so many sims that she completed the aspiration. So many, so many. Okay, I went ahead and added nurturing in. So now for her life goals, she has completed two aspirations. I know that she has completed psycho killer and chief of mischief. And right now her current aspiration is psycho knot, which comes from the base mental drugs mod. She basically wants to do a bunch of drugs because why, what else would Deandra do? And we're done with that. Back to the DeVos family tree. We can go ahead and turn edit on and we've successfully added Deandra in there. So that's great. And like before in the other videos, I'm not going to complete all of her traits or her description today or anybody in the DeVos family. I will be adding that later on before this video is out. So when the video is out, you guys will be able to see it and read it all for yourselves. So next we have to go ahead and add Monroe. Here is Monroe looking 
sexier than ever. He is my most alpha CC sim, and that will never change. I don't care about the whole alpha CC, max CC discord, okay? This man will always remain alpha. Monroe DeVos. He is male. He is alive. He's also a person and a human. And now I have to jump back into the game for his traits as well. What is Daddy Monroe up to? He is here chatting with his daughter, Regina, the eldest daughter of the family. And his traits are evil, romantic, and that's that's it. What happened to your guys' traits? Evil or romantic? I think he also had active. So I'm just going to add that in anyways because he definitely had that trait and I don't know what the hell happened to their traits. Evil, romantic, active, and his life goal... <laughs> just like Deandra's is that she already completed is psychopathic tendencies. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and add him in. Deandra and Monroe DeVos. And here's the thing about them, guys. They are engaged, even though they've been together since literally high school and share six, no, sorry, five children. Isaac is not their child. That's their grandchild. We'll talk about that later, if you don't already know. <laughs> they are engaged. They have never been married. I don't, I don't know why I did this. Okay, let's go ahead and add Regina in. The gorgeous Regina DeVos. At one point, she was also one of my favorite sims she is a female her condition is alive and she is also a person but she is a spellcaster that is something i've rarely talked about honestly regina and naomi are both spellcasters oh i'm sorry no regina is not a spellcaster she's a witch with the fairies versus witches mod by spitting plum bob she changed into a witch not a spellcaster my little witch regina over here let's go ahead and look at her traits Oh, what's happening over here? Oh God. Oh, oh God. What happened? <laughs> oh, what did I do? I screwed something up when I was updating my mods. Okay. Okay. Well, her, uh, her traits are kind of blocked at the moment. You know what I can do though? There is a mod called show sim info, sim info manager. And I can just take a look at what her traits are. Kleptomaniac, hot-headed, and stunning. Great. <laughs> and her aspiration is chief of mischief, really? I feel like that's a terrible aspiration for her. I'm sorry, girl. This family needs a rework. It needs a complete rework. And now she's added in. I'm just gonna go ahead and create four new slots for the next children. So we have Naomi, then Odessa, then Summer, then Kai. Let's go ahead and add Naomi next. Like I said earlier, she is a spellcaster. Y'all, I'm concerned. What did I do? <laughs> what did I forget to update? <laughs> is it going to be the same in the end? Was oh my god. God. See, I'm a seasoned Sims 4 player and even I screw up sometimes. So if you just go back to this video and look at what I've done, because that's a mess. I've never seen anything like that before in my entire life. Thank goodness we have Lumpino's Sim Info Manager mod, because I'd be losing it right now. So she has the goofball and active traits. I, I swear, what happened to their traits? They had more traits. I hate it here. I'll figure it out. And her life goal is inner peace. This is because being raised in a very chaotic family, Naomi has gone through some things. Okay, she's gone through a lot in her short life. And if you know, you know. Um, it's very dark stuff that she's been through. Naomi is actually a very big inspiration, just like Deandra, but also Naomi as well. She's a big inspiration for a lot of my Sims storylines. Autumn Volkov Kilo has storyline, inspired by Naomi DeVos. Parts of Rosalie's storyline, inspired by Naomi DeVos. Alexis Volkov and Gwyneth Westwood's storylines and their personalities, inspired by Deandra DeVos. Many Sims in this family and their inner circle is a big inspiration for my legacy and my not so berry challenges and yeah just a little fun fact about the legacy in the not so berry most of the chaotic things the out-of-pocket things i come up with stem from this family so yeah <laughs> and now naomi's in there so let's move on to the next three thing is i don't know if it's accurate to have naomi <laughs> under both Deandra and Monroe. Um, we'll get, we'll get into that later. Next up, we have Odessa. For the life of me, I cannot remember Odessa's traits. So here we go. Um, apparently she's went out somewhere, but that's fine. I should still be able to see her traits. Oh, that's right. My mods are broken. And also Odessa's not wearing a shirt. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to bring her back here. Girl, where is your, where's your clothes? <laughs> where did your clothes go? You're shoeless and you're topless. Girl. Insanity. Okay, whatever. She has the self-assured, neat, and music lover traits. That does sound like her traits. Also, look how pretty she is. Grim Reaper's daughter is slaying it over here. So self-assured, neat, and music lover. And her life goal is to be a world-famous celebrity. Odessa is actually a singer, and she's actually already a global superstar, even though she's only a teenager. Next up, we have Summer, the oldest son of the family, and also not a product of both Deandra and Monroe. Ah, 
I miss this family. Sum Sum is right here in the entryway and I'm sure, yep, his traits panel is messed up too. What did I do? His trait, he only has the genius traits. What the hell happened to y'all's traits? And he's completed every child aspiration except for these new ones that came with get together or no, I'm sorry, growing together last year. That's how long he's been a child, y'all. That's how long he's been a child. He's been a child for at least two years. Look at this little nerd. <laughs> he's so cute. And there he is. And lastly, we have the baby of the family, Kai DeVos. Ah, uh, yes, little Kai over here. I missed our times together, buddy, when you would go out into the streets of Brindleton Bay and just start stabbing random people with sacrificial deadly toddlers mod. It really was a time. It really was. Kai has the wild and fussy traits. Go ahead and add his evil little face in. And there he is. There is the main members of the DeVos family, except one. You probably noticed there's a sixth child in this household, and that is Naomi's son, Deandra and Monroe's grandson, and his name is Isaac. And here is a picture of little Isaac, this poor, poor child, teen mother who is out of her mind, and a former Coca-Cola addict. And just like his mother, he is a spellcaster. And there he is. So those are the eight main members of the DeVos family, but oh my god, there is so much more. <laughs> so like I said earlier, these three kids, um, they don't belong to both Deandra and Monroe. Deandra and Monroe only share two children biologically, which would be Regina DeVos and Kai DeVos, their oldest and their youngest. These three at least have one different parent. So let's talk about it. Who is Naomi's other parent? Well, she's blonde for a reason. She actually happens to be the daughter of Nancy Landgrab. And ooh, is that a story? Okay, buckle up, sit tight, grab some popcorn. Let me explain the story to you. Really early on, when I first started the DeVos family, I was doing absolutely anything I wanted to, the craziest shit possible. And I was new to mods and experimenting with mods. And there was one mod in particular I just downloaded and I was really trying to experiment with, and that was Wicked Whims. Oh yes. Oh yes. I had just gotten Wicked Whims in my game. And I had just learned too that you can have um, how do you say this? Woohoo parties with this uh with this glorious mod. Yeah, involving more than two sims. So I decided for fun, let's go and do Nancy. Why not? Let's go have a woohoo party at Nancy Langrap's house because Deandra had just murdered her husband Jeffrey. Just for fun. Like I said in my love struck video, you can click above to go watch it. There's something about ruining Nancy. Nancy's life that just does it for me. This isn't the first save file where I've ruined her life before. She's just my go-to sim to wreak havoc upon. And that's what I did, honey. They had a little woohoo party upstairs in Nancy's and Jeffrey's bed. And what I wasn't expecting to happen, Monroe knocking both of them up. Yep, he knocked up Deandra with Regina and he knocked up Nancy with Naomi. And once I found out, I didn't find out till Nancy had already given birth when Deandra paid her another visit because I wanted to ruin her life again. I think I was plotting to kill Malcolm this time. Anyway, I discovered the baby in the bassinet and I was like, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way Monroe's swimmers are that strong. And they were. And there she was, little Naomi DeVos. And in typical Solita Sims fashion, what did I do? I kidnapped the child. I kidnapped that damn child and I took her home to live with me, renamed her Naomi. That was all she wrote. Hmm, sounds very familiar, doesn't it? Like I've said, a lot of the inspiration for my not so bury my legacy challenge come from this family and this is one of them. Yes, Alexis kidnapping Clint was definitely a Deandra move. So yeah, Naomi's biological parents are Monroe DeVos and Nancy Langrab. Odessa over here is a different story. She is not Monroe's. She is solely Deandra's and the Grim Reaper. Deandra is a hoe, okay? Deandra likes to get down and dirty with multiple sims. If I I go and look at how many sims she's woohooed with if Wicked Wim was, wasn't broken right now I would tell you but it's a lot okay it's a lot she did a lot of cheating and one of them of course being a serial killer and a psychopath is gonna be the Grim Reaper it's everybody's rite of passage I think to get with the Grim Reaper at least once and that's what she did and yeah she got knocked up immediately after and out popped Odessa and Monroe and Odessa did not know for all these years until Naomi banged the Grim Reaper too and blew up the entire secret in front of the whole family I made a whole mission about this topic like I said it was canceled but all this drama involving Odessa and the Grim Reaper is up on my channel right now so if you want to go and watch the Machinima version of the story then go ahead and then Summer over here was a mistake like all of my male sims are Monroe was abducted while out on a walk this is when they lived in Newcrest this was before I even posted content about them he was out on a walk minding his own business when he got abducted by aliens and out popped Summer so he is only Monroe's and I actually do know exactly who Summer's biological mother 
is. Maybe I will venture into that storyline someday for y'all to see, but not today. <laughs> so that's their story. Um, it's a mess. It's 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 very much a mess. So Deandra, here's the thing about Deandra. She has a lot of flirts. Okay, I don't think I don't think it'd be possible to add all of them. However, I do want to make a separate tree. Here we go for Monroe to add in the whole thing about Nancy and Naomi being a product of Nancy as well as Naomi's biological siblings from Nancy's side of the family because she has a lot. So we're going to go ahead and add the land grabs in, even though I think Nancy did change her name because she got remarried. And this is how Nancy looks in this save file. I think she looks so cutie. <laughs> I think she looks good. I think she looks good. But yes, this is Naomi's biological mother. And honestly, if you look at her long enough, you'll be able to see Naomi's face. So we have Nancy land grab Raina. She is female. She is alive. She's a human being. And I have no idea what Nancy's traits are. So let's go and look. Here we are in Create a Sim and here's Nancy. Unfortunately, the UI issue that is causing the kids' panel to look like that will not allow me to actually um, go to her house. So that's great. That's what Cass is for. So we can go ahead and see she's protected. That's from extreme violence, meaning she won't get killed. I need her around so I can continue ruining her life. We have snob, we have ambitious, and we have materialistic. And her aspiration is fabulously wealthy. That sounds just like something that would go on with Nancy. Let me introduce you to her family and Naomi's house siblings here we have malcolm i gave him a little tiny makeover um i don't know how i feel about it i feel like he looks like the mix of you know a typical college frat guy and also a serial killer which are essentially the same thing so maybe i succeeded he has the evil trait the snob trait and the adhd trait didn't give him that one but that's cool and he wants to be a public enemy which you already are mine so <laughs> aspiration completed after deandra murdered jeffrey lang Grab. Nancy went ahead and remarried. This is Josiah Landgrab, not Raina, but that used to be his last name. He is evil. Okay, straight edge. Okay, and also has ADHD and the psychopathic tendencies. Aspiration. Nancy, you have quite the taste, honey. <laughs> You've gotten with three people now that have these psychopathic tendencies, aspiration, or have had it at some point. That's nice. This is Naomi's half-sister, Shayna Reyna, and she is beautiful. Beautiful. I think she is probably one of my most beautiful townies. Like, she just came out looking like this. Obviously, I added, like, some eyelashes and some makeup, but she is stunning. I have to admit, she, Nancy, Nancy upgraded when she married Josiah because these genetics don't play, honey. So, yeah, she is a teen, and her traits are glutton and cheerful, and her aspiration is she wants to be a renaissance sim. Then we have Naomi's second half sister and this is Sienna Reyna. She has the child of the islands trait and the rambunctious scamp aspiration. And lastly, Naomi's youngest half sister who is Savannah Reyna. Yes, they all have S's. Shayna, Sienna, and Savannah Reyna and she is a fussy little toddler and Naomi has relationships with everybody in this family by the way I wanted Naomi to kind of when she decided she wanted her aspiration to be inner peace and she's making her life you know more about peace now after recovering from being a coca-cola addict that she'd get in touch with her biological family because she does know the truth so yeah she's actually pretty close with all of them and then this family has two pets a dog named Grant and a cat named Rocco all right since we've paid them a visit we can go ahead and add that into their info now on the sims tree site okay i went ahead and added that to monroe's portion of the tree so it shows that these are his four biological kids and then over here i added a section for nancy and her own little private family tree and then it has all of her biological kids including naomi's four siblings in order malcolm naomi shana sienna and savannah and her husband hosiah as well all right so there is naomi's other side of the family i'm gonna go back to regina now and i'm gonna tell you about her fiance yes that's right our girl is engaged she is engaged to her high school sweetheart, Tyrone Link. They got engaged very young at like 15 years old. He proposed her on a beach in Sulani on a date and she plans on marrying him after college. Crazy, crazy, I know. And there's a reason behind that. <laughs> The reason being Regina follows very heteronormative stereotypes. She dresses very feminine, is very traditional, and likes to have control over her life. But she has been having a crush on her good friend, Tracy Vaughn, for the past couple of years. Tracy also happens to be the daughter of Lillian Vaughn, and Lillian Vaughn is Deandra's best friend and right-hand woman, but also is one of the other Sims that she cheated on Monroe with. Like mother, like daughter, Regina hasn't cheated on Tyrone, but she does fantasize a lot about her best friend, Tracy. So that's why when her man proposed to her, she was 
was keen on locking it down. So let's go ahead and add Tracy and Tyrone in her tree. So this is Tyrone Link, Regina's future hubby. His aspiration is party animal. He is a clubber and a geek. So he's a little bit of the best of both worlds, I guess. Tyrone has a fairly large family. So let's talk about his family. This is his father, Dwayne Link. He is so fine. <laughs> He is one of the mega daddies of the save file. His aspiration is a musical genius and his traits are foodie, neat, and hot-headed. Interesting. We have his mother, Kala Link, and her aspiration is master mixologist and her traits are family-oriented, genius, and glutton. We have his younger sister, Latoya Link, and Latoya has the front of the world aspiration as well as the foodie and active traits. And then his a thousand younger siblings, including little Jake Link, who has the emotional trait in the social butterfly aspiration. His little brother Ryland who has the fussy trait and the twins which would be Kylie Link who has the independent traits and Kane Link who has the inquisitive traits. You can call them the Volkovs of the save file honestly because Dwayne and Kala be getting down girl. They be getting down and dirty non-stop. For right now we're only going to be adding Tyrone in and we'll add his family in later and there's his card. We'll go ahead and put engaged and Tyrone Link. There he is. And then over here we have Lillian Vaughn as I spoke about earlier. Deandra's best friend. Deandra's right hand woman. Not only when it comes to business. <laughs> Poor Monroe. I've put him through some shit. <laughs> Anyway, she has, I honestly, let's see, let's, they're self-assured and genius because these are all from extreme violence. I know that. And then she has the musical genius aspiration. And then here's her daughter, Tracy, who has black hair, which she shouldn't. So let me change that real quick. Okay, here's Tracy with her natural hair color now. And she's Regina's best friend and Regina's secret lesbian crush. And she has the neat and outgoing traits as well as the soulmate aspiration. And I've went ahead and added them in. I added Lillian in as Deandra's flirt and Tracy in as Regina's friend. Now, Naomi doesn't have any significant others. However, the story is different for our girl Odessa over here. I've only talked about this briefly on TikTok. I'm sure it was on my story or something, so you wouldn't be able to see it now. But Odessa has herself a little girlfriend. And that is hilarious because the whole point of Odessa's storyline is that she wanted to work on her singing career, school as well, finish school, and then take her singing career super seriously and not worry about boys. But she ends up falling in love with a girl. And her girlfriend is actually a Sims 4 townie that comes with the City Living expansion pack and that would be Billy Jang. Yes, Odessa and Billy are a power couple, a lesbian, black lesbian power couple, which I love. So let's go and pay her a visit in Cass. And here's the adorable Billy Jang. I gave her a little makeover. She looks so cute. And yeah, her and Odessa have been going steady for a minute, at least about a year and a half in my game. And Billy, it looks like she has the friend of the animal's aspiration and the glutton trait. She is so cute. And we can go ahead and add her in as, yeah, just her partner. And her picture's loaded in, and there she is. As for little Summer over here, he's a child, so obviously he doesn't have any love interests. But as I said earlier, I actually do know the identity of his real biological mother, who happens to be an alien. She actually doesn't live too far away from Brindleton Bay. But even though I know her identity, I don't think I want to put her in the family tree just yet because I want to kind of surprise y'all and reveal it in a different way. So for now, I think I'm just going to leave it alone and Kai and Isaac are all good. So that's pretty much it. Obviously, like I've said before, this will not be the completed draft. Once it is available, once you guys are watching this video, it will be available. There will be a lot more added to it. There are other traits, maybe even some of their friends, some more pictures of them. But for right now, I think this is all good. This messiness, this messy family tree. And if you enjoyed watching me build this family tree from scratch, make sure to like, comment and share as it really helps me out and supports this channel. Don't forget to use my code Solita at checkout on thesimstree.com if you're interested in buying the yearly membership of the service. You can click the link down below as well. And with that ends this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!